Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect Andromeda. I'm a serious JG. Last night was a recording night for me, but I'm rec instead of recording this, I recorded RTK 13. Oh, I got my just got my butt kicked, got slapped around by the uh, last and most difficult of the um, hero modes, and oh, I'm looking forward to playing a little bit of this. I I'm way far ahead of this uh, as I record to what you guys have seen. One of the reasons I tried to pull back a bit and play something else, but. Yeah, I just got slapped around by the strategy game. I'm ready to play something that has leveling up mechanics to make you think it's not mindless, but it's essentially kind of a mindless shooter. Um, so, since the last time, I did respec, and in fact, uh, it costs like 50-something uh, credits. Next time we respec, it'll be 500. Time after that, I think it's 1,000, then 1,500. So it seems to add about 500 credits each time. I experimented with that, but I only respec once. And what I did, I didn't put anything into overload. Our first point was automatically put into overload for us. Uh, and now I didn't put it there. So basically we had one more point to work with than we had before. And we only have Assault Turret and Tactical Cloak uh, as actual equipped skills. I'm planning on getting the unknown um, remnant tech ability when it becomes available. So eventually... My three equipped skills are going to be Assault Turret, this Unknown Skill, and Tactical Cloak. And I respect to avoid putting any points into pistols, and instead put them into shotguns. So my notion is that we are going to be using um, sniper rifles at a distance and shotguns when our opponents get close. I've done lots and lots of collecting of our Cairo rewards and um, selling a lot of inventory we didn't need. As you can see, we now have like 24,000 credits. That's way more credits than we had before, but I can't get our item limit far below 70 at any point. Uh, just selling up things that were doubled up on, we still have over 70. Oh, so some missions came in. I had no missions to send anyone on... Uh, a minute ago. Uh, actually, let's take a look at this. Our strike teams have changed up a bit. Uh, we had Yankee, the team where I was just like, I don't even give a shit. I'll send them on missions. They have no chance of winning. If there's just a small chance they'll win, occasionally we'll win. Well, they leveled all the way up to 20 uh, that way, and they only got three negative traits. So I actually got fairly lucky with them. But eventually, probably, I'll dismiss them and level up a new team from scratch. I've already done that once. I leveled up Team Victor. They're at level 15 only being sent on missions that they're expected to win. They've got um, Enhanced Human Intelligence, which is the equipped item on everybody. It's the best equipable item, plus 20 effectiveness in all missions. And uh, Foxtrot got a negative trait for a failed gold mission, but otherwise I've got two level 20 teams with um, and a level 15 team, all of whom have that. And I send these two teams on gold missions now. Yankee, I don't do much with anymore unless... There's a whole bunch of missions available, and I just need to get all the rewards. Um, mostly I send Victor on anything that seems like it's going to be easy until I get them up to level 20. And then I, I will start carefully checking what's the best shot. 78%, 78%, 55, and 44. So either of these teams doesn't make a difference. I'll go with Foxtrot because they have a negative trait, which doesn't seem to be impacting this mission. But in case another mission pops up where that negative trait does impact, they will be free. Or no, the other team will be free to take it on instead of them. Disrupt enemy communications is a Foxtrot mission. 90% chance of success, and they're not fully leveled, so they should take it. And we have no more missions that we haven't succeeded at. No current rewards to grab. And with few, I don't know what happens. Actually, you know what? I'll disband Team Mike on camera. Why not? They, uh, they won a couple of gold missions on their way up. So I think they paid for themselves. But what I'm curious about is it costs 160 funds to recruit a team. Is that because of the number of teams I've recruited total, or is that because it would be my fourth team? Let's see if getting rid of a team so I only have three will affect that. Sorry, Team Yankee, you were fun. It did make a difference. We can now afford to recruit a new team. So we now have Team Victor, the Solarian team. Looks like this one's heroic. They have plus 10 effectiveness, but we need a hero. We need a hero. 
into something And he's gotta be fast And he's gotta be strong And I don't know the words to the song So there you go, that's It's uh, more expensive to recruit a team Depending on how many teams you have So Team Victor is the new team That will be carefully leveled up Against um, And actually what I did with uh, With Oh, I have two different Team Victors well, that seems silly. Well, anyway, uh, this Victor team, where you have a Turian leading two humans, um, and my Solarian team, Victor. Well, the this old team, Victor, I bought them a cheap, uh, an cheap piece of equipment to give them some enhancement before sending them on bronze missions to make sure they never failed a mission. And we'll do the same, but right now we can't afford anything for those guys, so that's a thing. Um, what else? Buy sell kiosk. And again, we have too many items. I probably need to sell. Like, we're not probably going to use... If we need to use a pistol, we're probably going to use a Talon 3 or a Hurricane 3, or an Eagle 3 or a Hurricane 3 and not a Talon. Let's go ahead and get rid of that even though we don't have any more of them. Assault rifles, um, they list these in order of their sell value. So generally, I assume um, getting rid of the cheap ones is just clearing the inventory of stuff that, if, like, for some reason we felt the need to equip those items, we would be using the better ones. Katana, Disciple. I don't want to get rid of the Pathfinder ones. For some, for some reason, I, I feel like they might be kind of special. They're unique to this game. They weren't showing up in the earlier series. Well, you know what? Oh, Piranha 3, 415 damage. Alright, we'll get rid of everything uh, other than the Pathfinder that's cheaper than these 871 ones. Because the thing is, uh, I actually uh, built a, a sniper rifle, which or a, a shotgun, which I'll show you. I tore apart our handcrafted pistol and replaced it with a handcrafted shotgun when I switched our points to being into shotguns. Um, don't want to get rid of that Pathfinder Observer. That's got a rate of fire of 500, so it's kind of special. Raptor has a rate of fire of 500. 102, but it does 73 damage. This does 70. Why is this? Why is the Indra 3 considered more expensive than the Raptor 3? Well, it's not considered more expensive. It is. 25 max clip size, 200. Oh, it's a, it's a difference in ammo? Or whatever. I'm not going to use any of these uh, other sniper rifles. Sorry, Biotic, Krogan, Omniblade. Okay. And I'm not really interested in selling mods. Armor-wise, I don't have a huge amounts of different kooky stuff hanging around. Um... Scavenger helmets, Cat Fusion helmets. These all, these things all have different things that they can do. Scout armor I actually made, so I would want to disassemble this to get back the components. And there was stuff I was selling that I guess I should have considered disassembling it, which you can't do from here. But now we're too well. It's too late now. But anyway, we're like. 60 items, that's that's low enough. We can get out of here now. You will also see if we go over to Research Center. Uh, I was I just keep compiling Milky Way d research data, so I went ahead and used it. I now have got all the blueprints that you can purchase with Milky Way research data up to level 3. 
because I can't purchase anything at any higher level until I reach level player level 20. So even the stuff I have no intention of ever building, I researched the level 3 blueprints for it. And when we get to level 20, I'll start slowly getting all the level 4 research blueprints, starting with the ones that I might actually build. Um, I've been looking at the armors. I bought them first. In fact, um, most of the, the armors... You got the N7 armors are basically built for biotics, and the Hyper Guardian armors are built for melee. So, in fact, I prefer the Helios research armors that we could eventually get, but I'm not going to start working on them yet until we've compiled a whole bunch of Helios research data. There is a sniper rifle here. It's a single clip sniper rifle that does even more damage than the Widow or the Black Widow, so eventually I might want to get a level 5 a thing like this and put in the special mods that give you uh, bonuses every time you empty a clip because basically it means every time we shoot the you empty a clip bonus will trigger and then I don't have very much remnant data at all I did get all the augments now for Helios remnant and uh, Milky Way none of the uh, remnant weapons really interest me that much they're all laser powered except for this uh, cryo gauntlet but the armor, if we could ever afford uh, to get all this, all of this stuff leveled up, is damage resistance, health regen, shield regen, and health and shield regen delay reduction. So these are really just, they're, they're purely for making you more survivable. Now, it looks ridiculous. It looks like some kind of uh, shiny fetish underwear. But on the armor end, I'm probably heading eventually for um, the Helios Defender Chest. You don't need to research arms and legs. It's an all-inclusive package. But it gives us um, damage resistance and weapon damage, which is our primary means of dealing out damage. Although we may prefer to go with the Angaran Gorilla outfit. The Helmet, arms, and legs don't do too much for us. They, they boost your uh, tech power and tech effects, which I'm not doing much with. But the chest plate increases tech construct damage, which would be a good thing for us. Now, this whole video is going to go by, and I'm only going to show, show off plans, not actually do anything, and that sucks. So let's quick get to um, get the loadout station. Like I said, I respect so that we are now maxed out sniper skills. Basically exactly the way that we were, except I pulled points out of pistols and put them into shotguns. And also went ahead and built the N7 Crusader 3 shotgun. Um, it does... It's... It has one clip empties, restore 25% shields. I had enough of those that I could put one in the Black Widow and one in the shotgun. Um, and it does enhance damage and has plus two mod shots. And I gave it all sorts of mods to make it better. So basically, it only has three shots in a clip too. So I've got two, two weapons, a sniper rifle and a shotgun. Both of them only have three shots per clip. And every time I empty a clip, I get an automatic boost uh 25% of my shields back. So that's pretty good. At 515 damage, that's with damage enhancing mods. Um, it's doing significantly more damage than my pistol would be doing per shot, but obviously it's firing a lot slower and a lot less often. So let's go check with our pie jack and then let's go to the Nexus because we haven't been to the Nexus since meeting a new species that the Nexus is probably Pathfinder, not about. You have new email. And we have new email. I may have missed some dialogue, like, I may have missed Lexi and Gil talking to each other as you walked by. I don't think so. I do keep hearing the sound of the pie jack somewhere. I don't know exactly where it is. So that might be, like, a thing that you get for getting the deluxe edition, is you get to search your ship for the pie jack after each mission. Doesn't that sound exciting? Don't think it's marked as a prisoner's jaw. How'd y'all doing? Lexi and Gil, Liam. K. 
Callow and Suvi. Cora. Hello, my name is Drac. Vetra. Sam. So the pie jack is not marked as a person on the map. I definitely heard it making its little pie jack sounds while I was wandering around in this room. But I don't think it's... Yeah, it's not sitting on that perch where it had been at before. So I'm kind of half looking for the pie jack. I've spent an entire video recapping um, our new build, and I try not to do a whole video for that kind of thing, but it happens sometimes. Sam sounds like he's really tired. Alright, let's forget where the freaking pie jack is. Let's go. Oh, this is the escape pod where What's Your Face lives. I thought maybe this was where we could check our email. Here's an airlock, it looks like. I keep getting I keep I kept getting told we have new email. Communication from Jal Armadarov. Archive. Movie time. Poker. So he basically says we have new emails because we hadn't archived everything. What a jip. All right, so we'll go to the Nexus uh, before we pick a uh, actual plot world to continue on to. Architect Husk Eos. Drone recovery. I thought we were done with that whole quest. Well, anyway, it doesn't. Tracking a remnant architect. Oh. The one we fought ended up in orbit? Amazing. Remnant architect's programming objectives have been interrupted. It is in orbital standby mode and remains tethered to its home planet EOS. The architect systems are completing recovery from severe radiation exposure. The architect itself appears to be conducting monitoring and analysis of EOS's atmosphere. Oh, interesting. So defeating it got us data. But it's still... So we can go in there and we can we get some points for scanning it, but it doesn't actually represent a new landing site. All right, so let's get to the Nexus and see uh, what um, Khalil Manjani slash that uh, Salarian guy thinks of us. Um, See what he thinks, and then we will go to one of these new Meet the Resistance, the Trail of Hope, Helping of All Scientists. I also want to double check and see uh, what that one trader guy was like. Trade, trade, trade. See what he had, where he wants us to go because I'd like to start trading with the Angarans uh, as soon as possible, so we can start collecting uh, the Angara that or just or whatever item. It's just something that is a component you need to build any of the cool Angaran gear that I, gear that I want to build. But yeah, basically I just want to go to the Nexus and I would... There's no quest telling us to go here, but you would think that discovering new species would want to tell the uh, Citadel Council slash what, whatever we're calling those people in this game. The Nexus dudes... Also, this is where Movie Night's going to be located. Uh, we can play a game of poker with Gil Brody. I'm not in a big rush to do Gil Brody quests. Um, I think that's important if you're trying to romance him. If you are not trying to romance him. I mean, I don't want to sound like I'm snotty and like I'm above hanging out with the ship's engineer slash 
homophobic, I'm above hanging out with a gay guy. It's more like, I don't see the gameplay benefits of doing a bunch of stuff. It's nice, though, that he involves you with playing poker and hanging out and getting to know him if you are not flirting with him. Apparently, apparently there's uh, some controversy around uh, dialogue from a transgendered character in the game, which I found out from the comments. And um, I believe my response to the comment was, oh, I hope I forget about this, because if I start talking about it one way or the other, I'm sure to say something to offend somebody. <laughs> and to that end, I'm not really going to get into the controversy surrounding the transgendered character one way or the other. I, never, I wasn't aware of it until I read about it. Uh, I did not actually see the dialogue in its original form. I am not going to express a strong opinion on fictional transgendered characters or real transgendered people. Not, not going to put a lot of time on that right now. But the Pathfinder just cut through all that red tape. It was great. Wait a minute. You were hanging around people who threatened hydroponics. Mom, I can take care of myself. I know, kiddo. It's my turn to be worried. Aw, so the Durhe guy with a stupid face uh, gets to chat with his mom. Who only got out because of us. Where's that? Yeah, Dr. Camden. Pathfinder. Pathfinder. We have not done enough plant quest stuff to get any response out of him, but uh... We don't have any new ingredients for the Vortex people, so... They will have nothing to say to us, if I understand this correctly. That is Liam. Free drinks to Pathfinders. I'll make sure of it. We were already offered free drinks as part of our... Welcome to the Vortex. Getting them... Um, getting them uh, ingredients tasks. Find and destroy cat surveillance devices, drone recovery... I don't know if these quests are done or not. Somebody pointed out, like, the the uh, bartending quest uh, continues on, and you don't know it, because as you, you can go to other planets where it suddenly becomes possible to do stuff. Um, report the wildlife. Oh, I guess we did enough uh, supply sites on Prodromus and then didn't finish up. Uh, trading favors, meet the resistance leader, okay, recovering the past, locate ancient craft site, no, can't do any of that, firefighters on hold, waiting for an email from night, aid apex, gather intel on enemies, Ugh. movie night, getting started, get a movie, there we go, we can do this, this will be our huge bit of progress that we make, uh, so it's not in the bar, In all likelihood, this is leading us to, um, yeah, that's kind of what I figured. You know what? I'm going to buy one here. Good morning. Hey, yeah. Or is it evening? Anything useful from the vehicle merchants? Shield discharge. Supplemental life support. Oh, this is all stuff that you can research, too. Double mod extender, mod extender, plus two to mod slots. Oh yeah, and I was using these. I'll buy one of these just in case I want to mod up some extra stuff. These are these are handy. Anti armor module, body damage booster, combat power, duration booster, kinetic coil. So just things that I knew that I used before, so I'll buy them while I'm here. So I'll have a couple extra mods floating around. Now that I think about it, uh, if I don't have an immediate use for those and I'm having inventory troubles, that was not really that smart. But we've got a lot of money now, uh, it feels like anyway. 
I'm semi regretting whether we really needed. I mean, I couldn't have spent the money as free, the research as freely as I did otherwise. But this whole like getting the research to pop every so often, but it's all Milky Way research, maybe not super useful. Uh, the minerals, I'm only getting very common minerals. I'm not getting like plutonium or platinum, which is the thing that we've been this looking for for a long time to fix that one quest. But I, it does gather up to the point where you can sell that stuff for money, and it's like, yeah, I, I don't know that we'll really have money problems uh, if we don't go around tr constantly trying to buy stuff. And if we if we take the perk I'm where sorry, you get, that. like, just trying to boost ammo around. drops, I can't imagine that we'll ever really care about money. I don't really want to waste a perk on that, though. Archive system. We got a movie library down the Return to the movie library to Liam on the Tempest. Okay. Okay, so this, that's that quest that's over, and that little trigger's still there. Trigger warning. Killed a lot of cats since the last time I talked to you. I want to report by tomorrow. Hey, Ryder, I'd like a moment. Yeah. Yes? Lieutenant Syax, right? That's me. I'm putting together Apex strike teams to protect the people and assets you're setting up out yep. there. We don't have a good sense of what we're up against and could benefit from your experience. I'll have Sam upload our... Thanks. You'll see. So, I don't know that that made a difference to the quest. I think we might still be at um, 5 of 20, so I guess I need to encounter different enemy types. So, I guess if we go talk to Solarian leader dude, and he has nothing to say about the fact that we met the Jaws people, hey buddy, then we'll kind of know that it's not, not a lot to be done here. Somebody was saying in the comments that she looks like a 30-something soccer mom, which not that attractive. It made me feel old, I'll tell you that much. I don't know. Use more water? That won't grow plants any faster. They'll drown. Well, you're a botanist. There must be a way. We need higher yields. Patience, Tan. That's the one thing we can least afford. There is no time. Lives depend on you. I guess they're trying to say that Tan. Congratulations are in order. Oh, okay. Peaceful contact with the Angara. It's everything the initiative stands for. They're a fascinating culture. They've got waterfalls. Best part of the job, we don't need more enemies. They're a fascinating culture. From what I've seen, we could spend years learning about their culture. I'm huh. sure you have pleased our scientists what, to no end. Movies, this was a rare occurrence in the Milky Way. In the meantime, I... I'm eager to forge diplomatic ties with the Angaran people. We need any allies we can get. Yep. Did you have some other business? That's all we get, huh? That's all. Thanks for your time. I'm here to serve. I was thinking there'd be like a big scene that with Jal talking to people. Um, not so much. To that end... I wonder where Jal is. We know Cora's like right here in this room and she's not marked. So we can't use the map to locate Jaw. I'm thinking we'll get an indication when it's time for us to go looking for um well, hold on, let me just make doubly sure. We're standing like right next to Cora. Hi, Ryder. All she has to say is hi, Ryder, and there's no indication that she's here on the map. Okay. Got it. There was something on this table. Okay. Don't care about that. So our trip to the Nexus wasn't that exciting. I spent a little money. Picked up some movie files. It's always movie time talk to Addison and see if she gives a shit that we've met uh, aliens who are friendly. Yes, Pathfinder? She doesn't give a shit. Director Addison? Pathfinder. She doesn't care. I doubt, you know, um, Dimitri Medvedev over there is going to care. 
I call him Dmitry Medvedev because he's a Russian second banana. Hello, my name is Drac. Drac. Superintendent Magmore, I have some reports here that. <laughs> oh, sorry, calm breaking down. <laughs> Probably wiring. For her. Kid. Try again later. <sighs> Please call me kid. First contact, huh? Okay, Chief, Last one of any please. note was when your people stumbled over that relay. If they can trade us materials that'll help fix the Nexus, I'm good with it. That's it. Nothing more for now. Later. Alright, so coming back to the Nexus at this point in the plot really didn't yield a whole lot, but movie night with Liam. And just so the video isn't a complete nothing, Apex I know it's time to call it a video, but let's... Uh, no news on the Turian Ark yet. Or is this militia business? You care about the fact that we met new aliens? Bye, Kandros. Duty calls. You and me both, Pathfinder. So our Turian leader and our Krogan, who's like a logistics person, kind of care, but not Tracking much. Tracking enemy activity. Command check and verify. And, uh... No, Solarian leader and our... Hey, Psycho Sid. Hi. I'll let you get back to work. Nexus, speak with Sid. Pathfinder. Talk to you later, Davis. I'll be here. Well, wait, I just got done saying I was going to do something before we left, and now I've totally lost what it was. Oh, I'm going to, um... Wait a second. Allies and relationships. Okay, I was going to do read email from Gil. Meet Gil the Vortex. Um, recover Remtech from the Remnant site. Yeah, I figure we'll play poker with Gil before this uh, video is over. I don't know whether you'll do a real game of poker or not. I. I know the rules of poker. Uh, I'm not a particularly... I don't play a lot of uh, cards. I have a vague... I mean, I kind of know... I know which hand beats what. Um, I vaguely You're know... Your for news in the odds against getting certain... Like, I don't mathematically know the odds against certain hands. But I understand the rules of poker. Uh, the whole, like... It's a game of studying the other guy's face and knowing your enemy. And, like, I don't play enough poker to get onto that level of it. And a really good poker player, I'm sure, is going to school me uh, big time. But uh, I don't know whether the computer, like, whether they're going to have a real, like, poker simulation against um, against Gil Brody. Or if it's just going to be a cinema scene where you lose to Brody, probably. Unless you have enough blue dialogue power, in which case you win. Except that this game doesn't work that way, so presumably you lose. This is where I stood and heard my own speech from earlier replayed. Somebody told me it was recording playing on the intercom, but I still prefer to think that my character just suddenly started, like, flashing back to what he was saying previously. So, Ryder, big news. I think I found my purpose in life. Taking you Oh, yeah? What's that? Uh, thrashing you at poker? <laughs> Shall I deal? Ryder, I can read Bill's vital signs and give you an advantage during the game if you like. Oh, man. Oh, this is... I did not know this was going to be a thing. I would have saved. Um, that doesn't seem right, but let's cheat once and then uh, load our autosave. Do it. The Pathfinder has spoken. Ooh. Were you holding out on me? You're pretty good at this. Don't act so surprised. Poker's lost me several friends over the years. The only one who still plays me is my buddy Jill. I, I know, I know, Jill and Gil. Jill likes a challenge. She's the one who brought you here. The one you mentioned. Part of the initiative? Yep. Been awake since the start. Jill's a fatality expert. Heads the initiative CRC. My only real friend from back home. I bet 50. I call. The CRC? Colonial Repopulation Committee. She's always teasing that I'm making her job harder. Yeah. She, says she doesn't if I'm make not me hard, babies, though. She's I'm part of the problem. 
We have that kind of relationship. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. The hurtful kind. Population support. Oh man, you know, if I was going to cheat, I, I should have like been doing the opposite of what I would normally do. The hurtful kind. Hmm. Sounds kind of disrespectful. It doesn't bother you? Nah, she's like family. Supports me unconditionally. We just ride each other like that. Not the other. You should meet her. You'll see. She's amazing. Another hundred. He's nothing. I call. Oof, nice. That one's yours. Well, the winning streak's over. You beat me, Ryder, fair and square. Guess I continue searching for my true purpose in life. I cheated. Gil, listen. Wish I could say that was skill, but I was getting help from Sam. <laughs> I kind of figured. Pretty obvious, actually. Oh, what a dick. You mad? Hell no. The day I can beat you with Sam helping is the day I become all-powerful. Jill predicted you'd be my downfall. Wait till I tell her you're a cheat. Ouch. Have fun. And thanks for the game. I kind of like that outcome uh, better than I thought I would, because I didn't realize that we'd get the option to tell him that we cheated. Um, Autosave... So this is probably before we played Pokemon. I don't want to spend like 800 different videos looking for different ways to come through this conversation. But um, the fact that he basically says he knows you cheated took away some of the fun. I'll see you back on the Tempest. Because I wouldn't have gone with it. I wouldn't have made the comment about the disrespectful kind. Oh, here, we're in Nexus Ops now. Fuck. I'm making too much out of this. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to get back to him. We're going to make a manual save. I'm going to play through a completely different set of options, and then we'll call it a video, and we'll come back, and I'll just play through whatever the hell I think is what I want to be our canon approach, which is probably losing to Gil and um, saying that I didn't feel like cheating. But I like it. I like it, this idea that, yeah, if I can beat you when Sam is helping you cheat, then I'll be... Uh, Weekly totally, injury report. Totally sweet. Minimum casualties. A good week. I'm assuming that this means I talked to Tan and uh, what's his what's her face, but I don't actually know that now that I think about it. Authorities continue work to establish contact with our Milky Way descendants. As of now, but no, she's a fertility expert, giving him a hard time because she's not helping repopulate. Um, a, I thought they were having a resource crunch where they didn't have enough to support the people they have. And B, um, well, I really don't want to get into the politics of it, like, you know, gay people and adoption. But uh, they could certainly, he could be a sperm donor. <laughs> But again, this game is getting into stuff that I really don't feel like to get into. I, I do appreciate the fact this game doesn't really attempt to appeal to um, a conservative audience at all. They're My like, team no, and I is... surveyed EOS thoroughly and even stopped the storms. The rest is up to the outpost, but the old threats are gone. No, guys, that's not his interview playing on the intercom. That's the game making him just, like, have a psychotic episode where he starts flashing back to a previous conversation, okay? That's what's going on there. So, Ryder, big news. Oh, yeah? Uh, threat. Ryder, I can read Gil's vital signs and give you an advantage during the game if you like. Don't. All right? You can deal first. Having fun? Getting my ass kicked is what I'm doing. Poker's lost me several friends over the years. The only one who so, still yeah, plays me is my buddy Jill. I, I know, I know. Jill and Gil. Is she a masochist? She must be a glutton for punishment. That's her. That's how I know she'll always be there. Jill's a fertility expert. Heads the initiative CRC. I call. Colonial repopulation. Says if I'm not making babies, I'm part of the problem. We have that kind of relationship. Growing our numbers is paramount to our survival here. Sure. But that's Jill's purpose. I'm not just going to adopt it. See what I did there? I'm not just going to adopt it. I saw. 
You should meet her. You'll see. She's a mate. Ah, I fold. Another one for me then. Should have called it, dude. Well, that's that. You win. I've achieved my true purpose in life. <laughs> what will I do now? Okay, GG. Congratulations. Good game. You two. Jill predicted you'd be my downfall. Can't wait to tell her she was wrong. Another oh, streak attack. What if we talk to him again? Thanks again for the game, Ryder. I guess. All right. You know what? Let's let's do one more before I call this an extra long video. Uy. We'll do one more, and this time we'll cheat, and um, we won't tell him. I'm curious what happens. I wonder if I'll have a psychic episode, psychotic episode on my way over there. Seems to happen when you walk through this stretch of the... So, world. Ryder, big news. Uh, Ryder, I can read Gil's vital signs and give you an advantage during the game. Do it. Ooh. Were you holding out on... Don't act so... Hoka's lost me several friends over the years. The only one who still plays me is my buddy Jill. Yeah, I got her level I, I know, I know. Jill, Jill Gil. Here. Says if I'm not making babies, I'm. I saw him. He's bluffing. Oof, nice. Well, the winning streak's over. You beat me, Ryder, fair and square. Odds were in Guess my I favor. continue searching for my true purpose in life. I got lucky. Odds are in my favor. It was bound to happen sooner or later. No, no. You're good. I'll have to up my game. Jill's gonna lay into me hard when she hears you won. Ah, I'll just tell her this proves how bad a player she is. Ouch. Have fun. All right, well, after all that nonsense, I really don't care for any of these outcomes, so I'm gonna go back <laughs> off screen. I'm going to cheat to beat him and then admit that I did it. So um, when we come back, that will have happened. Huzzah! Also, I'll have a new controller that's not out of batteries. I'm Serious JG. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys next time when we're actually going to go do one of the Angara plot missions because we're out of other things to do. Bye bye.